what are some things that cause your teeth to become yellow? That's what we're talking about today. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cardell. I'm a practicing family physician, an on-air health expert, and a video creator. Um, by the way, if you like content like this, uh, COVID content, general health news uh, that you can use, etc., please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell to get updates. Now, you're probably wondering, why is a family doctor talking about yellow teeth and what makes teeth yellow? Well, it's a good question. Uh, the reason why is because a lot of things that make your teeth yellow also actually affect your general health. So it, it pertains to me as a family doctor. Let's jump right in. Oh, and by the way, uh, I'm going to tell you guys how I keep my teeth nice and white because so many of you guys ask about that. First thing up is the coffee mug. This is one of my favorite mugs, by the way. Uh, food and drink can actually cause discoloration of our teeth. That's right. The coffee, the tea, but wait, not only that, we've got... Oh, the wine glass. Red wine, yes, it can do it too. But not just that, there's cola, there are other foods as well that could actually discolor our teeth. So the first thing you need to keep in mind in terms of why are my teeth looking kind of yellow? Why are they not as white as I'd like them to be? Look at what you're putting in your mouth. What are you eating? What are you drinking? Colas, teas, coffee, wine, etc. food. Think about that. The next thing is tobacco. Yes, tobacco can stain the teeth. And you know what? We don't want you using tobacco anyway. So if you were smoking cigarettes or using chewing tobacco, um, this is uh, just as good of any reason to quit, right? Not only is it bad for your health, but it can also stain and discolor your teeth. That is item number two, uh, the second reason you can have discolored or yellowed teeth. The third thing is this little guy. Yes, the almighty toothbrush, right? We love the toothbrush, but if you're not using this guy as much as you should, if you're not brushing and or flossing and or visiting the dentist for your routine checks as much as you should, all of those things can contribute to yellowing of the teeth from plaque buildup and all sorts of other stuff. By the way, guys, that is not good teeth hygiene or tooth hygiene, I want you to make sure that you keep your dental hygiene up, brush your teeth, floss, go to the dentist, see the tooth professional to keep your teeth clean. Um, it will also help them stay white as well. The next thing is diseases. That's right. Believe it or not, there are certain disease states that can cause yellowing of the teeth. There are also certain medical treatments that can do it too. So those who might have radiation um, to the head or neck or might have chemotherapy or other sort of treatments may have have yellowing of the teeth or discoloration. So keep that in mind. And the thing that certainly pertains to me as a family doctor is medications. That is right. Certain medications in certain people can actually cause yellowing of the teeth. If you have any questions or concerns about this, you should be talking to your doctor. See how this pertains to the family doctor? Yes, it's not just the dentist people. <laughs> and then I would say item number uh, six is aging. That is right. Aging in and of itself puts us at risk for tooth discoloration. And the last thing I've lumped two things together is genetics and trauma. We'll start with the trauma first. Uh, if there's trauma to the teeth, et cetera, that may cause discoloration, of course, and genetics as well. If you have certain genetic conditions or genetic predispositions, that may also alter your tooth color. Now, the reason why I did this segment is because so many of you guys write me every single day and it blows my mind. This is actually the most commonly asked question I get is, um, are my teeth real? Number one. Uh, number two, what do I use on my teeth, etc. So I will tell you, by the way, my teeth are real. Um, I get asked this all the time. The second thing is um, they are roughly relatively straight right now because I've had braces twice. Yes, braces work, y'all. Got to wear them. Wear that retainer though too. Okay. Uh, I wish I'd worn my retainer the first time. Um, but the next thing I'll tell you is that I do use a whitening toothpaste um, over the counter. I just get whitening toothpaste and I use that every day to brush my teeth and I floss and I go to the dentist and do all that kind of stuff. Now, if you want to know other whitening strategies, this is where we are going to have to go to the professional, okay, which is our friendly dentist. Make sure you talk to your dentist about any um, you know whitening options if that's something you're interested in, but make sure you're seeing your dentist for your regular checkups and your tooth cleanings and making sure that you're staying healthy in the mouth because dental hygiene is just as important as taking care of the rest of your body, which of course I'm a body doctor, not a tooth doctor, but you know, it's all interrelated. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. Please share this video with other people. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, uh, please do click the little bell to get updates. I'll be back soon.